Next time you go to a supermarket, stop and look around. How many different products do you think there are on the shelves? Well, a large supermarket typically has somewhere between 30 and 40,000 different types of products. Well, how do you tell them apart? Well, the labels have different information, but when it comes to the checkout register, a laser scanner reads a black and white barcode on the label. It looks up that product using the barcode in a database and reports back what the product is and how much it costs, and that's what goes on to your checkout total. Well, as it happens, there's about 35,000 endangered species that are regulated by the UN Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. That's an interesting coincidence. If every member of those species had a universal product code, you know, that black and white striped thing on every label in the supermarket, it would be easy to tell which species are endangered and which ones aren't endangered. But they don't come with those barcodes. In fact, they do come with a kind of barcode, Inside the genome of all species, there's a segment that evolves at just the right rate so that every species has a distinctive DNA barcode, and every species is different from other species in its barcode. So if we could just scan those DNA barcodes, we could instantly tell whether a plant or an animal is a member of an endangered species or not. That's what the Barcode of Wildlife Project is doing establishing the database of DNA barcodes that police and forensic scientists can use to determine whether a plant or an animal is a member of an endangered species or not. We'll be telling you more about how DNA barcoding works in upcoming episodes.